First of all, Alan, let's talk about your new signing today, Carl Higginbotham. So, you must be delighted to get him here. No, he's a, he's a quality player and he's a player I've always liked. Um, he's somebody that can get by people, he can score goals and create chances. Um, so, I think he'd be a really good addition. And he's got a lot of experience playing in Scottish football as well and playing at a higher level than what we're at at the moment. Yeah, that's the, the players we've brought in so far have all played at a good level. Um, alongside the players we've already got, I think they've got the, the makings of a good squad. Is it somebody you've been chasing for a while? I like, he's a player I've always liked. Uh, obviously, we're still contracted to Kamarnock, um, so it's good that he's finally left there and uh, we can get him on board. Just speaking to him there, he seems like he's uh, already enjoying the dressing room and he seems to be fitting in quite well. I believe he came in last week for some training. So that helps as well that he's the right sort of character. Yeah, he's a great lad. He's got a lot of experience. He's played at a high level. Um, he's desperate to do, do well. He knows it's a big season for him personally as well. Um, so I think he'll do really well. In terms of his fitness, where is he about? Is he, is he's, he he's missed a good bit, um, but you can see even the games have played, he's still got that bit of quality. He can go by people. And you can see the pass. Um, so, no, that's the kind of player we want to bring in. Um, and it should bring a lot to the team. So, let's look at tomorrow night against La Broth. It's the first proper game of the season, I guess, the League Cup. Um, I'm guessing you watched them on Friday night against Dundee United. What did you make of them? They've done well. Uh, they pushed Dundee United all the way. It's Obviously, Dundee United have got some quality players. And they caused them problems as well. So, we know it's going to be a difficult game. It always is, especially against Dick Campbell's teams. I'm sure we'll have them well organised and pumped up for the game. Um, but we're looking forward to it and you can tell by the way the boys have been training and playing over the pre-season that they're, they're, they're flying at the moment. It's a different start to the season as well with what we're used to obviously because we usually start with maybe the Challenge Cup or whatever. But this new League Cup format means that there's going to be four games in ten days. What's your, what's your feelings on I think, personally, I think it's too much, uh, too many games in s such a short period of time. I don't know why we need to cram all the games in. I think it's asking for injuries. Um, but every team's the same, and you've just got to deal with it. And the boys have, that's how we come back early to make sure the boys are fit enough to play 90 minutes. And with that drawn Friday night as well, it gives us a chance of, if we win, uh, it puts us uh, top of the table, I guess. So that, that's, we're looking to qualify from the group, obviously. No, we're looking to start the season strongly, just the way we've done last year. Um, you can see, even I was at the Cowden Beef Inverness game as well at the weekend and you can see there's no easy games, doesn't no matter who you're playing. Um, so we're looking to get the, the first game off to a fly. And you mentioned injuries, hopefully there are none of those coming up over the next few games, but I believe there's an update on Michael Payton, he's back training, is that right? He's not really back training yet, he's doing a lot of running um, and he'll be getting involved in training within the next week or so. Uh, but he's progressing really well and obviously he was a big player for us last year so it would be good to have him back.